Hey, what's up, Resistance? It's Joy here. Uh, I want to bring up something today. Uh, well, first of all, I didn't do a Learning is Living series. I just had too much going on. Uh, got one of my gardens plowed. Had to clean out chicken coops. Still got another garden to plow. It's, you know, it's that time of year, people. It's busy, busy, busy. Uh, but I want to bring up something on uh, something you may want to prep. And I'm going to flip the camera around here. All right. What we have here is just little batteries little watch batteries hearing aid batteries whatever you want to call them and they're used you know i use them this here is a laser bore cider and you know it's it's to simulate around in the barrel and it helps you set your sights and everything and uh i got a couple of them here oh um, let's see that there's another one and uh see that there's another one and they even make them for shotguns people anyway those things eat the hell out of some batteries people so stock up man uh to really you know if you're gonna spend some time you know doing this uh, if you've done it before, you probably already know the uh, life that these batteries have. And this here, this is the 556 five, one. And I went, that thing takes uh, two batteries, three depending on the battery. I mean, uh, you can use various size batteries in them as long as they fit inside and you can screw the cap on them and they illuminate uh they'll come on you know they'll work but they are they eat batteries uh like i say it took me about three sets of batteries to set this stuff here up on this here uh, ar platform and i'm setting up i'll see if let's see if i can do this Just down down there, that's 50 yards. That's measured out at 50 yards. And that's that's what this was set up on. Uh, this top one was a pain in the ass. Uh, that's the one that took so long. Uh, I'm not so concerned about the laser part of it, people. Uh, that's just for very close range type stuff. And laser are useless in the daytime anyway. Uh, this one up here was actually a little bit more easier to set. I don't know if it's being more in line on the barrel or what, but I basically just turned that one on, done very little windage adjustment, and it was dead on. You know, the hardest thing though is getting the barrel and the laser lined up downrange. And what I did was, is I took, this is the, this is the lower, I took it off and I visually looked down through the barrel and lined it up with the target that I want looking through the barrel and set up these pads and all that. I got various size pads and everything. I know it's not a bag of sand, which I would prefer to have, but you know, it is what it is. You work with what you got. Anyway, two hours later, and it's done but hey you know it's i guess relaxing uh you know kind of just get your mind off of everything and you just kind of focus on something there's not no real physical labor in it and all and everything but anyway that's all i want to do people these batteries uh let's see well my the box is tearing apart here people <laughs> piece of junk all right, this is, you know, basically some of the batteries that I have. Uh, you know, you will eat through these things, people. Uh, you know, if you if you do this at any, for any length of time, you will eat through them. Anyway, that's what I got for today, y'all. So, y'all, uh, I hope y'all had a good Easter weekend. Everything's worked out good for you. And so, you got to spend time with your families and stuff and everything. Uh, but y'all stay low and stay ready, people.